Welcome, everybody, uh, to the 2023 graduation of Preschool Friends. Yay! Now, to be clear, I've got nothing to do with this program. <laughs> I just work in the same building as, as these eight amazing young people, <laughs> children, study and work and learn. And I've watched them from the beginning to the end, and they're going to make the world a better place. Amen. They are going to make the world a better place. And so it's with great thankfulness that we we're given this opportunity to spend time with them and to begin this journey with them. And so we're going to begin with a, with a prayer. Um, In our Book of Common Prayer, we have a prayer for children. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Wally. We are here every Sunday for anyone who would like to come. <laughs> and join us. Yeah. Um, and this Sunday we have a picnic. The service is at 10 and a picnic following, so please join us. Um, I would like to thank you all and welcome you all to the 22nd graduation class. It's been that many years. And uh, some of you have been here before, some of you this is your first time. We'd like to uh, welcome you. And before I forget to welcome um, supporters of the preschool friend over the, friends over the years, we have a board member here, Marilyn Reynolds. And we have, if you stand up, we have Carol Sock, who is here, and Cindy Whetstone. Is that you back there? I can't see. She's on our board. But um, we can't do without the support of people in our community, in our church, and we wouldn't be able to make it without that support. So thank you all for being here and supporting us. And thank you parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles for sharing your children with us this year. We've had a wonderful year. I think they've learned a lot. I know we've had fun and they've grown, as you all can see how much they've grown throughout the year. And I just can't thank you enough for sharing them with us. And please spread the word about Preschool Friends. Uh, we love to uh, share our program with our community. We started as an outreach to our community, and that's what we continue to be. We're not uh, a preschool for members of our church, although we have had members of our church come to preschool, but it is an outreach to our community, and we continue to be that. We can't do this without our teachers. I say this every year. Miss Sandra. All 22 years, she and I have done this together. <laughs> this never gets old. She retired from Anderson Public Schools in May after 37 years, wasn't it? And then she's been here 22 years. So what does that say? She loves to teach. She loves children. And um, Ms. Bush, she started out uh, as a volunteer with our, with our uh, with our parents program and then she moved into the classroom I don't know how many years Miss Bush have you kept up with it 16 wow. 16 wow and Miss Carolyn Ford this is our, her first year with us but they're the ones who do all the hard work with your children so and then we'll get to Miss Kathy um, when we get to the parents part of the program but thank you, ladies, for all the hard work you do with our children. You're the ones that, that make the program successful. So thank you so very much. And we're going to move in to Miss Lisa, <laughs> who volunteers and has, how many years do you know? <laughs> she, but she, she volunteers, and she's the one that comes in and disrupts the class. Because she does music, and uh, it's not just, you know, um, 
the drivers on the bus go, the wheels on the bus go around. Anyway. That's not what she does. She does funny things, and she, she gets out percussion instruments and lets them go crazy with the music. So they love it when she comes, and then it takes a while to settle them down after she leaves. So um, they're going to do some songs today, but they're calm songs. They're not the wild ones that she does. So, um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Pledge is next. I need to look at the program. Our leader of the pledge today will be Miss Ariella. We start every day. I don't know if they do this in the, in the public schools anymore, but I think most of you, when you went to school, started the day with the pledge, and we do that. So, um, Ariella, would you step up on the top step? I'm going to hold the flag. And if everybody would stand, and what do they need to do? Uh, where do they put their hands? Pledge allegiance. And where do they put their hands? Over their heart? Yes. Over their heart. And say that you will start with the flag? Yes. I pledge allegiance to a flag of the nine states of America and to a public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good job. Thank you, Ariella. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'm going to turn it over to Miss Lisa. And she's going to uh, have the children come up here. Yes, as Ms. Catherine said, I bring the chaos. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm Miss Lisa. I apologize for sending your children home with loud things. <laughs> but, yes, I'm the one who sent home the drums and the shakers. And yesterday I sent home the trumpets. So <laughs> but <laughs> this has been a great group of friends. They have had such fun. And now we are going to sing you some of the things that they learned this year starting with one of the very first things they learned, the ABCs. this on. I meant to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we're going to teach you, we learned some animal sounds. This is the good morning song. Another thing we learned this year was our colors. This is our colors chant.
Another thing we learned was a little bit about agriculture and distribution and a little culinary arts. Now we're going to teach you how to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, starting with digging up the peanuts. All right, we also learned the days of the week. This is seven days a week. Next one is about something we learned this year and something we hope to do next year and all the years after. This is Make New Friends. This next one is we're sending out as a warning and a celebration. <laughs> this is kindergarten. Here we come. y'all very very much for sharing your kids with me it keeps me young Jalen Swain, 
Humpty Dumpty, sit on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. How did you miss? How did you was Go on to Dumpty again. Diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cat went over the moon. The little dog laughed because it was too much fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. I'm a little teapot, short, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all stinged up, hand me shout, this tip me over and pull me out. <laughs> We've had a wonderful year this year. The children have learned so much. I am very proud of all the things that they have accomplished this year. We're going to give them their diploma and I'm going to tell you about each child. <laughs> Ariella Holloway. Let's turn around. She has always something to say about everything. <laughs> she asks many questions, learns new ideas quickly. Maybe she'll be a talk show hostess when she grows up because she loves to talk so much. <laughs> I asked her what she learned at school about different animals and plants. She can count to 100. She loves to color, draw, paint. Cutting glue, he loves with construction paper. What do you like to play with in the classroom? The rainbow blocks, the cars and trucks. And, and in the kitchen, she loves to play like she's cooking. What do you like to do outside? Slide and swing, climb the wall, and talk to my friends. What do you want to be? when you grow up a veterinarian so I can take care of animals. Ariella recognizes her numbers one through 20, upper, all her upper and lowercase letters, shapes, colors, counts to 20 and recites the days of the week. Martinez. Arlette comes in quietly each day. She always tries to do her best. She plays well with all the children. She listens well and is very attentive in class. She excels in everything she does. She was tested for kindergarten at Oxford and, and made very good on all her tests. 
she will be in the Excel class in kindergarten. We're very proud of that. I asked her what she learned, her ABCs, her numbers. She writes her numbers. She learned about animals, cows, cats, dogs, and fish. I asked her what she liked to play with, the cars in the kitchen, cooks the food, play with her friends, build with blocks. I asked her what she liked to do outside, swing and run around outside. I asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up. She wants to be a doctor so she can make people well. Arlette recognizes her numbers one through 20, upper and, all her upper and lower case letters, shapes, colors, counts to 20, and recites the days of the week. Emily, she loves to talk and take charge of things. She is good at coloring and working with art projects. I asked her what she learned at school. She said some of my numbers and my ABCs. Who do you like and what do you like to play with at school? The furniture and the small dolls and the puzzles. What do you like to play with outside? Go down the slide, swing, and play in the tree house. What do you want to be when you grow up? An artist. She, she recognized most of her numbers, her upper and lower case letters, shapes, all of her colors. She counts to 20, and she recites the days of the week. <laughs> Jalen Swing. Jalen is a joyful child. He is eager to learn. He is a friend to everyone and likes to play with all the children. I asked him what he learned at school. He said his numbers, his ABCs, to do work, and he learned to sing songs. What do you like to play with in the classroom? He likes to play with the kitchen and cook food. He likes to play with the cars, the farm set, and the blocks. I asked him what he liked to do outside. He likes to walk around and talk to his friends and come down the slide. I asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up. He wants to be a policeman and take bad people to jail so they can't hurt people. He recognizes all his numbers, his upper and lower case letters, shapes, colors, counts to 20, and recites the days of the week. Kennedy Eckridge. She works at her own pace. She is never in a hurry to do anything. She plays well with other children. I asked her what she learned at school. She said she learned her letters and numbers and how to do classwork. I asked her what she liked to play with at school. Blocks, the furniture, and the dolls. I asked you what she liked to do outside, slide and play with my friends. I asked her what she wanted to be when she grew, grew up. She said she wanted to be a ballerina because she knew how to spin. <laughs> she recognizes most of her numbers, upper and lower case letters, her shapes, her colors, and counts to 20 and recites the days of the week. Brooks. She has many friends and loves to play with everyone. She concentrates on her work and tries to do her best. She is always a good helper. I asked what she learned at school. Her numbers to 20, her ABCs, to sing songs, and to walk in a straight line. What do you like to play with in, <clears throat> excuse me, outside? 
run around, play with my friends, swing, and go down the slide. I asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up. She wants to, <coughs> to be a veterinarian so she can work with animals. <coughs> she recognizes most of her numbers from one to 20, upper and lower case letters, shapes, colors, counts to 20, and recites the days of the week. Lillian loves to play with everyone. She enjoys wearing pretty dresses. She loves to talk <laughs> with her friends and always has plenty to say. She works quickly to finish her work. I ask her what she learned at school. She likes when we talk about the weekly readers and all the plants and the flowers and the trees. She learned about the different kinds of animals. What do you like to play with in the classroom? The rainbow box, the little caterpillar. She likes to paint. She likes everything we do at school and think school is fun. gets along with everyone. He is eager to learn new concepts, new ideas. He is responsible and a very good helper. He is an independent child and tries to do things for himself. I asked him what he learned. He said he had fun writing his numbers and letters and recognizing the numbers, 20 upper and lower case letters he loved to paint, cut, and glue. I asked him what he liked to play with outside. He liked <coughs> to play with the, uh, excuse me, in the classroom. He loves to play with the rainbow blocks, plays with Jalen, the books, the farm set, puts puzzles together. What do you play with outside? <coughs> he runs and swings and goes down the slide. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, he wants to go to college to be a dentist or a doctor to help people. Elijah recognizes all his numbers, one through 20, upper and lower case letters, shapes, colors, counts to 20, and recites the days of the week. If children, <coughs> if children learn to live with criticism, they learn to condemn. If they live with hostility, they learn to fight. If children live with ridicule, they learn to be shy. If they live with shame, they learn to be guilty. If they live with tolerance, they learn to be patient. If they live with encouragement, they learn confidence. The children live with praise, they learn to appreciate things. If they live with fairness, they learn justice. If children live with security, they learn to have faith. If children live with approval, <coughs> they learn to like themselves. If children live with acceptance and friendship, they learn to find love in the world. Always take time to play with your children, talk to your children, and tell them you love them. Thank you.
Thank you, Sandra. You do a wonderful job with, with all these children. So now we're going to turn it over to Kathy Elliott, who does our Monday morning program with the parents, and she has been doing this for several years. Um, if you don't get anything, parents, from our program, the two things that we encourage and that we push is read, read, read to your children and be involved. Always be involved with your school, with school work because the teachers cannot do it all. It takes the family to, be, to do it. You've got to be involved. So Kathy, we appreciate everything you do with our, with our families, with our parents on Monday, and uh, we feel like that's what helps our program to be strong. So if you would come up and do your thing. Uh-huh, and I'll, I'll help you with, with that. It has been a wonderful year, uh, 23. I've grown with uh, you ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's been a wonderful year. I've gotten to know um, some of the most amazing women in my class. They have stretched me, uh, something that no other class has done. So I want to thank you all for that because um, I've grown throughout this year as well. I've been sick a little bit, so I appreciate you understanding me, uh, being understanding in that, but we've had a good, a good time, and I hope you've learned some, some things. So without further ado, do you want me to read something first? Do you want me to read that? Yeah. That one? I'm gonna read something to you, and then we're gonna pass out your, uh... okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Y'all can't hear me, I'm so loud mouth. Oh, I apologize, Pat. Remember, when you spend time reading with children, they learn that reading is fun. When children see you reading, they learn that reading is important. And I think I've preached that enough this year, did I not? But anyway, you're going to get one of these as well. So the first one I have is for Angela Lucas. Nice to see you. How you doing? <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. Jessica Halbrooks. She's our she's our mother. Yeah, she's our mother of twins. Let's give her a double round. <laughs> Jessica Aldridge. Leslie Swank. Kendra Holiday. Rosario and Carlos Almos. Her name is Shaquille, but I call her Shaq <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Thank you all for being supportive and for coming faithfully every Monday. Thank you, Kathy. We appreciate everything you do. Uh, we have, as you know, a cookout in the back here on the playground area. And, but what we would ask for you to do is let, when this is over, if you'll let the teachers take the, lead the children out first to the front steps, because we would like to take a picture out there with the uh, students and the teachers, and all of you are welcome to go out and follow us out and take pictures. 
but we'd like to get them out there without you, you know, taking them away from us first. Father Wiley, we'll, we have a blessing of the food. Um, when you get out there, everything is not quite ready to eat. There's still some things that we need to do to get it ready. But if you'll just go out there, uh, there's lemonade and water out there to um, you have something to drink, have a seat, and, and wait for the uh, food to be fin uh, finished cooking and get us to get everything out there. But um, we hope you, most of you can stay and join us for the cookout. But again, thank you for sharing your children this year. We have really enjoyed it. It's been a wonderful year. And uh, Father Wally, if you would bless our food for us, please. Well, first, I'd like to say that uh, if you enjoyed this morning's activities, you can see it again. We'll, we put it on our Facebook Live, so if you go to our website or our Facebook page, you can, you can see this recorded. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Gracious God, you provide for us in so many ways. We thank you for the gift of our little ones. We thank you for the gift of our parents and grandparents and all those adults in our lives that have helped shape and mold us. And we thank you for the presence of your spirit in and around us, shape, guiding us and filling us. And now we ask that you bless the food we're about to receive. May it strengthen our bodies to your service, and may our service give you glory and make this world a better place. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm Reverend Kathy Wally Flores. But me. I can't let this close without thanking Miss Catherine. Thanking her for the wonderful job she does every, every year. And that preschool friend is 22 years old. It's just unbelievable. And we thank you, Miss Catherine. So if the kids want to head out, follow Lisa and Miss Catherine.